Jen. So now Grandson is going to read the book for you. Okay. Disney Frozen Northern Lights. Let it go. So this is the title page. All books have the title page. Disney Frozen Northern Lights. Let it go. This is his grandpa called Happy. Happy. Yeah. Happy. Written by Susan Francis. Illustrated by the Disney Storybook Art Team. Small, so I'm gonna. So I'm not gonna read it. The next page. Autumn was nearly over, and little Rob and his friends were on a journey to the Trolls Crystal Ceremony. Each year, the Leader of the Trolls Clan Happy honors all of the young trolls. Trolls old. Little Rob couldn't wait to get to get there, but to be part of the Ceremony. Little Rock had to probe himself by finding Grand Happy promised help their little friend find his leader. I bet there is a great clue just around the band set. Crystal. Little Rock smiled. Let's get tracking. So now, guys, the next page. Little Rock hunted for clues as the group headed up the mountain. Suddenly, the noise is a funny looking bump under the snow. He quickly dug down deep. Look, he said, popping up with an axe and a rope. So that's where they were, Christoph said. He had lost his axe and rope last spring. I track some important stuff, said Little Rock. You found some important stuff, said Crystal, placing the items into Sven's saddle bag. That's not tracking, remember? See? And then the next page. Look, Little Rock, I mean, Little Rock nodded, nodded. He had made the same mistake before. Tracking was a difficult skill, but Little Rock needed to work it out. Otherwise, his tracking crystal would never glow. But you did show an inventive thinking, said Anna. And that's one of the rules of tracking right yes little rock and 
answered long, along with fearlessness and observation. Crystal smiled. Would you like to hear a story about how I was inventive back when I was young? Little Rock nodded again. So, as they began, picking Crystal started his story. When I was a child, Swan and I were out harvesting ice one night. The northern nights were very bright and they were re reflecting on the surface of the frozen lake. Swan was going crazy trying to catch the re reflections. See you guys the picture. And then next page. He carried on chasing them for a while until he finally caught one Christoph post before adding was his tongue. Swan grounded in an embarrassment while everyone else giggled at the story. He was completely stuck. So I tried pulling him and pushing him, but not work. His tongue just stretched and stretched. I reached for my ice pick, but he didn't like that idea.
They followed the trail until they came to the base of a giant waterfall. There, Anna spotted a mossy cloak. Everyone agreed it was Grand Happy. He must have dropped it as he climbed the cliff. Said Elsa. He must have dropped. Oh, this is the next one. That damn one. They gazed up, wondering how they would do the same. Sven put his tongue in the rushing water. Then he did it again. Kristoff and Stanley understand understood his saying what Elsa should freeze the waterfall, he explained. Remember the story? What an adventure idea Sven said little Rock. So, guys, do you see the picture? Here it is. Next. Elsa waved her arms and the roaring water froze so good. Now we can climb up, said Kristoff. Kristoff handed Anna spikes for her shoes and an ice axe. I've always wanted to climb a frozen waterfall, she said. With their gear in place, Anna and Kristoff began to scale the waterfall, digging their spikes into the ice. Be careful, Anna, called Elsa. I can do this, said Anna, stripping the ice with her axe and pulling herself up. See? To the top, they threw the rope down. Elsa tried it around Sven and then helped Olaf sit on Sven's head. This is so much fun, said Olaf, holding Sven's antlers as they slowly started to rise up. The waterfall. Once Sven and Olaf reached the top, they all posted little rock up. But before they could throw the rope down again, Elsa had used her magic to build stairs. When they asked why she hadn't done that in the first place, she explained, You were so excited to climb the waterfall. I didn't want to spoil anyone's fun. See?
They all agreed it was a lot of fun. Kristoff and Sven, Little Rock said, because you were so inventive, Kristoff and Sven, Little Rock said, because you were with the waterfall, you this serve to carry my water crystal. Little Rock took one of the glowing crystals he already earned out of his pouch and handed it to them. Christoph promised to keep it safe. From the top of the waterfall, they followed the trail as it climbed higher and higher soon. The air became thick with fog and also little rock was nervous. He kept going when they reached the mountain peak. A figure appeared in the mist. See? Little Rock excitedly ran over and threw his arms around it. Grand Pabby, he exclaimed. Actually, this is not Grand Pabby. Hmm. See? This is a Jesse Rock, not Grand Pabby. Christoph cleared his throat and guess turned towards the real Grand Pabby. Little Rock was confused. He looked at the most covered rock he was hugging and then back at Grand Pabby. I found him, he explained, running towards Grand Pabby and giving him a giant hug. I trapped you. Hello, little rock said the kindly old rock. See? It's this thing. Not this thing. Next. Oh! Uh -huh. 
turn it to glow. Look, said Anna, pointing at the shimmering, shimmering crystal. But I didn't earn it, said Little Rock. Grandpappy nodded. Actually, you did. You worked out what it takes to be a good tractor. tractor. For Little Rock, that means understanding that he needed help from his friends and that realization made the crystal glow. Just then, the other young trolls, trolls came out of hiding, cheering, hooray for Little Rock. Grandpappy and the trolls had been waiting for Little Rock to find them and earn his final crystal. Now it was time for the crystal ceremony to begin. And also, I already read so many pages. Later on, we'll count how many pages are there. As Grandpappy called for all the young trolls to the to gather around him, Little Rock looked shyly at his friends. Oh, I need my other crystals now, he said. Little Rock's friends had been keeping his other crystals safe just in case. He lost them on the journey. Crystal gave Pack the water crystal. Then Anna, Elsa, and Olaf handed over the crystal Little Rock had earned for learning how to be fearless and observant. With the glowing stones in his Hands, Little Rock joined the other young trolls around Grandpappy. As Grandpappy lifted his arms into the air, all the trolls raised their crystals. The northern lights reflect the colors of the crystals and the lights bounced back into the sky. Slightly brighter, but not as bright as Grandpappy had hoped. Mind if I try something? Elsa asked. Elsa waved her arms and her magic crawled into the sky, creating a giant snowflake. It sparkled as it turned, reflecting the northern lights back into the sky and all around them. All of Hope with assignment. It's a rainbow, he gasped. Elsa and Anna's dresses shimmered in 
to Wells now, said Grandpa. That is so much better. See? Wait. Last two pages. I forgot to give you a tea. This is the last page and this is the last two pages already. See? This is the last page already. Okay. And then the last page. Oh yeah. Last page. Far away in Trovelli. Okay, Danielle, what did you learn about the story that Brozen let it glow? I learned the northern lights. And which page that you like the story? Mm, let me choose. I like the story is... One. Wow, it's so nice. Why? Why you like this this part? Because I like Elsa to making snow and so many colors. Good, good and job. And everyone is here because so I like this page. Uh, okay, thank you. Good job, Danielle. And then, what do you want to say to your viewers? I want to say next time you can also do a video to the YouTube. Yeah? And also I can watch it. Then I'll subscribe your channel. Yeah? But don't be shy. I'm not shy. So okay. you, next time you also can read a book or share something to show in the YouTube. Okay, let's so see. see bye to everyone and thank you. Bye everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like.